Hi friends, welcome. Um, I'm getting mindful minutes done a little bit earlier today. We are in the Vivid Buffalo practice room. Um, my name is Angela Nicholas. Um, I call it the practice room because it's like, you know, I'm practicing a lot of different skills in this room. Um, aerial silks being one of them. That's not yoga. That's circus stuff. <laughs> so I'm learning the circus stuff. Um, I actually have uh, a lesson later today. So I'm practicing for my practice. Um, and I wanted to video or record um, my practice for myself so I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes that helps. And I thought, well, I have everything set up. And before I practice, I like to read from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie anyway. So I was like, two birds, one stone, a lot of efficiency here. Um, vivid Buffalo updates. We are on the hunt for vendors. We have a big yoga event coming up and more details. Um, it's Wednesday, so by the end of the week, because that's coming up. Uh, July 24th, Saturday, 10 to 5. So if you're interested in being a vendor or having a table, feel free to reach out, Angela at Vivid Buffalo. Um, we started a new mural today. Um, I'm practicing the aerial silks today, so I'm not muraling. Um, but we are out in Wheatfield, and this one's so cool. It's a really creative project on a huge um, garage, so I'm super excited about it. And um, more details to come on that tomorrow. Um, what else we have? Yoga Plus is starting up July 10th. Um, that'll be Saturday, 10 a.m. Um, check out Vivid Buffalo's Eventbrite for that. Yeah. So, a lot of good stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to get to my practice. Um, practice is important. It would be great if, like, you could just do something the first time and be awesome at it. Um, what a life. <laughs> but, yeah, I, on the other hand, need to practice for my practice. So... Um, when I do that, I like to set an intention by reading from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. Or I do have other books that I read um, for myself personally, but I always find that before a yoga practice, before like an art or anything like where I'm getting into a creative mode, it's always good to take a moment to ground and breathe. And sometimes I like to enhance that with the reading. So, um, wherever you are, right now I'm standing. So, I'm going to press through all four corners of my feet and ground. And then from that energy, find the lift up through the spine. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Starting to notice your own vibration. So your energy, your heartbeat, your breath. And from that place of stillness, discover the power of stillness. I will forever remember Yellowstone Glacier Lake at midnight. A large full moon the biggest I have ever seen, was resting atop the lake. The lake was frozen over, a still mirror between the mountains. Even the pines stood motionless. At that moment, I saw stillness, quiet, motionless stillness, and I began to understand its power. Be still and 
know that I am God. How often I heard that verse from the Bible. How well I knew it. But how little I understood stillness. Stillness is different from solitude. It's different from aloneness. It's different from turning off the stereo or speaking softly. Stillness is a place. You can find it in the desert or in the mountains. You can find it when you're alone or when you're in the midst of people. You can find stillness wherever you are. Whatever you're going through, stillness is a place within you. Slow down. Breathe deeply. Get quiet. Become familiar with stillness. Take time to learn its power. From that place of stillness, the right action will emerge and you will find your next step. From that place of stillness, you can move into the present moment. There, you will find your power, and there, God will find you. That God as you know it could be the universe, could be the stillness itself. And with that, take time to notice. And take time to practice because it's the best. And that's what I'm going to be up to. Practice, practice, practice. All right, friends, have a good one. I will be back <clears throat> um, tomorrow.